Double Diamond Crisis Round 5 Gabumon Bond of Friendship vs. Titamon Security Setup Digimon Standby Let's open the digital gates Hatching Pseudomon Evolves into Labramon Then into Ogremon For 2 cost Turnover Hatching A Tsunomon as well Evolves into Gabumon Then at 3 cost The White Tamer Shiramine Nokia Is played on play, you may play an Agumon or Gabumon from the hand for free. So another copy of Gabumon is played, this time from BT01. And on play, draw one card. Turn over. Ogremon moves out. And at three cost, as if he wasn't enough of a rebel already, he evolves into Rebellimon. On evolve, trash one card in your hand to give this Digimon blocker and retaliation until the end of your opponent's next turn. So this effect will be triggered by discarding Skull Greymon, which now activates Skull Greymon's effect. When this card is trashed from your hand by your own effects, you may place it under one of your purple Digimon as its bottommost evolution card. So we'll put it just over here, and this will basically imbue Rebellimon and whatever it turns to into the future with permanent retaliation. And of course, with Tsunomon's Inheritable, during your turn once per turn, when you trash a card in your hand using one of your effects, draw one card. Turn over. Gabumon moves out. First, at 3 cost, Yamato Ishida from the Kizuna movie will be played. Gabumon's effect, during all turns, once per turn, when you play a tamer with Yamato Ishida in its name, one memory, up to zero. Then this Gabumon will evolve into Garurumon for supposedly two costs, but with Nokia's effect, she is suspended to make it only one cost. And on evolve, if this Digimon has Gabumon in its evolution sources, plus one memory back to zero again, and then for three costs, it becomes Wur Garurumon. Turn over. Hatching another Tsunomon. Evolves into Goblimon. Now at 4 cost, Rebellimon will evolve into the Brutal Demon God and Scourge of the Olympus 12, Titamon. On Evolve, trash 1 card from your hand, then you may play a purple level 4 or lower Digimon from the trash at no cost. Now at this moment, Titamon's trash is empty, so he will choose to discard the level 4 Ogremon and with the second part of the effect, call it from the trash. And Ogremon's on play. Trash one card in your hand to delete one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon. They will choose to trash Underworld Call in order to delete the opposing Gabumon. And now, just like Skull Greymon, Underworld Call has an effect when discarded. Draw one card. Turn over. Active. Draw. And then raising a Tsunomon. It evolves into Gabumon. At 3 cost, another copy of Kizuna Yamato is played. Turn over. Draw. And Goblimon moves out. First, Titamon will go for security on its 12k DP. Security check! Gabumon on 2k, trashed. Now Goblimon will do the same on 2k DP. Check! Gabumon, 2k, so it is deleted. Then at 3 cost, Ogremon will evolve into another copy of Skull Greymon, setting up to carry out some discards the next turn. Turn over. Gabumon moves out, which now triggers Kizuna Yamato's effect. During your turn, when your Digimon with Gabumon or Garurumon in its name is moved from the raising to the battle area, gain one memory and draw one card. Since there are two, plus two memory and draw two cards. And now, the bond between Yamato and Gabumon will create a miracle as Kizuna Yamato activates his effect. On main, once per turn, you can evolve one of your Gabumon into a Gabumon Bond of Friendship in your hand by paying its evolution cost, ignoring the evolution requirements. So with that, at 3 cost, Gabumon will evolve into level 7 Gabumon Bond of Friendship. However, forcing a last evolution like this has its consequences. Trash the top 2 cards of your security. Then if you have one or more security, delete that Digimon at the end of the turn. So Yamato will now sacrifice two of his security, a Garurumon and... No! Seriously? Okay, so now we are seeing blue security being OP in my videos again, but this time it's backfiring because it's being discarded. There was a rattle star in security. But with that, Yamato and Gabumon are now ready to clean up the field. Gabumon Bond of Friendship goes for security on its 14k DP, its first effect. On attacking, once per turn if you have a tamer, unsuspend. And second effect, 
When attacking, we turn an opposing level 5 or lower Digimon to the bottom of the deck, trashing its evolution sources. So with that, Skull Greymon is banished before it can become an even greater threat. And security check! Oh, but Titamon's security game is not losing out. They've just pulled out Underworld's Call. On security, activate main. To play a purple level 4 or lower Digimon from the trash at no cost, and with that, the Ogremon that was in Skull Greymon's evolution sources now returns to the field. But fortunately, Bond of Friendship is still active, and since it's gonna be destroyed at the end of the turn anyway, it attacks Titamon. It's on attack bounce, it's not once per turn, so this time Ogremon is sent to the bottom of the deck, and Bond of Friendship collides into Titamon's 12k DP, which is defeated. However, it has retaliation from Skull Greymon, so Born of Friendship is taken out as well. With that, the field has been cleaned up. Now at 3 cost, War Garurumon will evolve into Metal Garurumon, suspending Nokia to reduce it to only 2 cost. Turnover! Hatching, Tsunomon evolves into Gabumon, then Goblimon is placed directly onto the field. Turnover, active, draw, and in raising, Another Tsunomon, it evolves into Gabumon. Now Metal Garumon will go for security on 11k DP. And various inheritables trigger. First from Tsunomon, since its name contains Garurumon, plus 1k DP. Then with Garurumon, the same effect, so it is now 13k. And from War Garurumon, during your turn, while you have 8 or more cards in hand, this Digimon gains security attack plus 1. There are currently 9 cards in Gabumon's hand. So that's 2 checks on 13k. First check. Whoa, Grave Memory Boost, why is Purple suddenly being the security god on my channel? And on security, place this card in its owner's battle area. Second check. No, dude. Wait, did you guys just see that? That was like two option cards followed by a tamer in a row. Sora and Mimi, the twin tamers for Purple, are now played for free. Dude, Titamon is getting some insane security. Now as one final move, Gabumon Bond of Friendship will play its signature option card, Rattle Star from the hand. At 5 cost on main, return an opposing level 5 or lower Digimon to its owner's hand, and with that, Goblimon is returned to the hand. At 5 cost, down to 4, and Gabumon Bond of Friendship has just bought itself another turn. Turn over! At the start of the turn, Sora and Mimi trigger. If your opponent has no level 4 or lower Digimon on their field, the raising area doesn't count, gain 2 memory. Up to 6. Draw and Gabumon moves out. At 1 cost, it evolves into the blocker, Devimon. Then at 3 cost, into Skull Greymon once more. Now Titamon will activate Grave Memory Boost Delay. By trashing this card from the battle area, gain Met 2 memory up to 4. And now it's time for the Brutal Demon God to make a reappearance. At 4 cost, Skull Greymon will once again mutate into Titamon. And with its on evolve, a card is trashed from the hand, another Sora Mimi. In order to play a rookie, Labramon from the trash for free. On play, draw one card, then trash one card in your hand. So drawing one card, Boltzmon is discarded. Since there was a discard, Tsunomon triggers for another draw. And now finally, Titamon will get to activate and make use of its second effect. During your turn, once per turn when you trash a card in your hand, this Digimon gets plus 2k DP and security attack, Plus one. And with its newly gained power, it aims for Metal Garurumon. Gabumon. Now, Metal Garurumon actually has a plus 1k boost during all turns thanks to Garurumon, so it is standing at 12k just like Titamon, so it actually really needed the power boost in order to survive. Oops, sorry, I was so engrossed in that battle, I forgot to activate Sora and Mimi, so I hope you guys don't mind if I do it now. During your turn, when your purple Digimon attacks, you can suspend this tamer to draw one card and then. Trash one card in your hand. Goblimon is trashed. And finally, at one cost, Labramon will evolve into the blocker, Devimon. Turn over. Gabumon moves out, activating both Yamatos for plus two memory and two draws. And now, it's time for Yamato and Gabumon to show off the power of their bonds once more, making use of Yamato's main effects. At three cost, the Gabumon on the field will now evolve into Gabumon Bond of friendship. And now the top two cards from security will be discarded. There's only one left. Let's see what it is. Dude! You you guys are freaking seeing this, right? The last two cards in blue security were Red All Star. Alright? 
almost as bad as Kokuta's breath, depending on the opponent's field. So this time they didn't get to go off, but you see, there's seriously something wrong with blue security every time I play. But enough of that. It's time for Gabumon, Bond of Friendship, to attack. It goes for security, once again triggering both of its effects to once per turn, unsuspend, and banish Devimon to the bottom of the deck. And here we go, here's the f and here we go, the first check. Devimon, 5k, trashed. BOF goes for security again, and this time it makes use of Gabumon's inheritable. When attacking, once per turn, if this Digimon is Gabumon Bond of Friendship, you may unsuspend this Digimon. Final security check for Titamon, and it is Titamon himself, the final guardian. But at only 12k, it can't stand up to a level 7. And with that, Bond of Friendship launches its third consecutive strike. Titamon has no blockers on the field and no remaining security. It's a direct attack and the match is over. The winner is Gabumon Bond of Friendship.